Welcome to a new PropFrex on air tutorial. I'm talking about scripting at PropFrex on air. So there were many changes to scripts and now I'm producing a new video about scripting in PropFrex on air. First of all, please mention at settings the scripts scheduler navigation tab where you can set, for example, allow edit running scripts which is very, very useful. Please don't use auto script path, but use additional script libraries. Also, please don't use song history globally at scripts, but at the single scripts. I will come to that later. First of all, what are scripts? Scripts are found at script libraries and with scripts you create your hourly music scheduling or generally speaking your executed program scheme. What do you want to be on air? How do you create a new script? Open up script libraries and click on new script. First of all type in the file name for example test scheduling and you can use a category for example testing and if you have got created a script before for example live show soundtracks etc you can copy all settings from this script and work based on the settings at your new script test scheduling when you choose the option base script which you can select here. We are using an empty fresh script and this is how a script looks like. It seems very complicated but it's really really simple when you've understood how it works. First of all at the beginning of the script library editor you can choose your name or change it. Then you can set a max history which is only the script history and I would recommend you to set this history according to the lowest media library count number of files. For example, my smallest media library is about 250 tracks. So I would recommend you to set up 200 for example and add the options set artists according to 180 and 190 for titles because the number has to be between 0 and 200 which you set up here with max history. Also I would recommend you to set reload at your media libraries which are used before the script is started. So if you have made any changes to these media libraries, these changes should be loaded when the script is executed. Also, you can set up options for the script generally. I would recommend you to set use last track on final fail. What is this? If you've configured a uh, playlist or a music history at PropFrex on air globally at the global song history or at your script with max history etc. There are a lot of options to set up the song history options at PropFrex on air and when you've done so PropFrex tests each script line for example get a song out of hits against the global song history and all other history which you've got configured. And if no track within this media library, which the script is checking for, is anyhow available, then PropFrex would skip this script line. So please use, use last track on final fail that PropFrex doesn't skip any script line when the song history is violated. Also you can set an initial track, for example show opener or something like that. About loop line we will talk later. 
Another useful option could be add history, which is a single playlist file or something like that, which is attached to the history for the script. All other options like advertising, jingles, archive are not so important and I wouldn't recommend you to use advertising or jingles up here because you can only set a range where one song is picked between this range out of a jingle lip or an advertising lip, which is no uh, very good idea for music scheduling. When you want to create a new music scheduling hour, click on add at the bottom. Now I've got different scripting modes. Random would pick randomly a song out of your media libraries. Also you can use load track if you want to load a single track. Or you can load a single playlist, execute a script within a script. You can use a card wall library for picking up one jingle or drop-in. You can use AdWord slots, new slots, you can execute comments, all PropFlex comments are available here. You can use placeholder, like you can use it at playlist for, pick, for setting, for example, advertising placeholder with two minutes duration. Or you can use a container script, for example, or AdWord container, overlay container, or a line in feed container. And least times played and least recently played are other options for picking up one song out of a media library. Least times played means pick up a song which is played least times. And least recently played, pick up a song which was last least recently played. If you use one of these options, please consider to use options up here. Suppress history check and force library history check. These both options need to be set whenever you're using least times played or least recently played because the song history for both options is handled against the max history or library history and not against the global song history. If you would like to use a time update sync within a script, for example, uh, the host is playing a part of the script manually, then you can use time update sync to automatically change to autoplay, for example, at 2030 or something like that with a start type fixed or soft. And last but not least, you can use a line in with a given duration and you can pick up your input channels and this within a script which could be, which could be very useful. Let's start with random. Random picks up randomly one track out of one media library or different media library. You can select one or more media libraries to pick up one song and this is called any of. So PropFrex decides randomly which library is used for pickup. When PropFrex has decided, PropFrex decides randomly choosing one song out of the chosen library. At the next column you can select how many tracks are rendered out of this line. Default is one song. I've shown you that you can select different options and the important options are suppress history check with force library history check. Consider other options which could be very useful. For example, stop at end for stopping at autoplay. Suppress fading for reports or a news container, etc. Stop autoplay, start autoplay, autoplay next. 
use hook cue points could be very useful if you have got placed a hook container for example and of course you can set control comments for this script line on track loaded on track played on track stopped you can select a sound bed track if you've got a report placed at your scripting and you can choose a transition mode which is only useful at card wall modes i will show you later if you've got a very big media library you can also filter within the script line with the expression builder first choose the logical condition and or or filter condition and condition means that all filter which you which you will define below have to be fulfilled and or means one filter needs to be fulfilled so you click on plus and then you say for example i have saved different styles and style needs to equal with for example fast these styles and other metadata options needs to be saved first at each mp3 or other music file which is placed at a media library and then you can use it at the expression builder i can test which song is found when i select this filter and you see no song is found at all at my lip c for example but i have set another options rotation called and if i test this i see ah okay 86 entries are found in heart for example so you see propfrex is choosing randomly the test lip and if i click again on test ah, okay it's using heart again and now you see lip c is used and i see nearly 500 songs are found if you have created a filter which you can use at different script lines consider to save this expression and to load it again at other scripting lines and now i'm adding different script lines for example least recently played consider as i'm already set suppress history check and force library history check to be set and select the right media library and so test a little bit between least recently played least times played and random modes and then you will have got a very very good music scheduling at the end how can you change the order of the single script lines select one script line which needs to be changed and click on up and down for changing the order because the script is running firstly from one till the end and begins if you haven't set any other loop line number at one again so the script runs firstly from one to the end whole and at the second run propfrex uses the loop line which is defined per default at zero but if you would like at the second run and all other runs that another start line is used set it up here with two for example so propfrex will play this script from one to three firstly and at the recurrence propfrex will start every time at line two as defined at loop line There are also other options, for example, script rules. Consider the following. You've created an overlay with news and jingles, etc. And you've set up different card wall jingles at your script. So it could happen that two jingles are played together. For example, a closer jingle at the overlay scheduler and a jingle from the script and this should never happen so with, with 
So with script rules you can define previous track conditions and current track conditions and if both conditions match you can set up suppress or defer. For example add then you're using the expression builder so I'm using media type equals then I'm selecting jingle which is my previous track condition and the current track condition is also media type equals jingle and if this happens to automatic jingle automatic advertising random card wall advert news and so on use the action suppress or defer I would recommend you to use suppress because a deferred jingle doesn't make any sense and you can use different script rules and add it up here. I already showed you that you can create a jingle within a script. This is very simple so select the mode card wall and then select the card wall library for example drop-ins. And after that I'm using another song with random and if I would like to place an automatic transition on the song above or below I click at the card wall line on the control, control command symbol and I set transition mode for example and with ramp of next track and the jingle should be played with minus 3 decibel. So now if a song from the old library has a ramp and the drop-in can be placed on this ramp, the drop-in will be placed on the ramp. That's very easy and very useful. Last but not least, you can for example use the overlay scheduler but there are also possibilities with fixed time elements so you have your little overlay scheduler within scripts also. I can define a fixed time element for example at 15 after and repeat it every hour with start type soft for example and can set add and then I have the same options nearly the same options like the script has and I can for example load a track every time at 0, zero every hour with count 1 so these options are also available when you are ready with your script you can test it click on test and you will see what the script will trigger for one hour. If you've got any questions don't hesitate to write me and now have fun with PropFrax on air.